Hey guys, Malcolm from Copper vs Glass, and today I'm going to be showing you the newest update to SwiftKey. Now SwiftKey is my keyboard of choice, if you watch one of my previous videos, my top 5 Android keyboards, you'll see that on that one I was using the Google keyboard quite a lot. But after testing all of the keyboards and things, a couple of weeks later I realised that SwiftKey for me is a little bit of a better option. I will leave a link in the description as to my top 5 keyboards video, so if you want to go back and check that out, then you can do. In terms of the new SwiftKey app, it's going to be looking and feeling exactly the same as it has done previously, and the main thing that has changed is the themes. Now the way that you input text, whether it be swipe or tapping on the screen, is unchanged and it works perfectly well. But when you go into the theme options, you've now got an option to go to a SwiftKey store. Now first off you can see here all the keyboards that I've got installed on my device which are easily accessible and I can just install them at any point and start using them. Once you go into the SwiftKey store though, you'll see there's a lot more in here and there's also ones that you can pay for which are only 69 pence. Now the individual themes as you can see here don't go any higher than 69 pence which is definitely a great price point if you ask me. It's kind of an impulse buy, you don't really think about it too much. And once you go into packs, you then got themes of five or more, which are costing $1.99 and upwards. Now, if you originally had SwiftKey, you paid 99 pence for it here in the UK. So what SwiftKey are doing is if you've used it before, you should hopefully get an email, which allow you to get the premium pack for completely free of charge. So you don't necessarily feel like that you've been kind of mugged off or anything with having to pay for the application previously, whereas people that are just getting into it now get it completely free of charge. And there's quite a lot of additional keyboards within the premium pack, which I definitely like. One of those is my favorite, which is actually the Spotlight Orange keyboard. So we'll just head into Google now. It's going to bring up the keyboard that I'm using. And you can see here that it's completely changed the look and feel of my keyboard. As I mentioned, the way that you actually input text hasn't changed. So if I want to type in hello, I can do H-E-L-L-O. And that's going to do it for me straight away. Or if you want to swipe, you can then just do the same thing and it's going to do it a lot quicker. Uh, some people like swipe. I myself prefer to actually tap the keys themselves so that if I want to write any specific words that aren't necessarily predicted, then you can do. But SwiftQ also gives you the option to generate new words. So if you type in a word that it doesn't necessarily recognize, you can save it to your dictionary so you can use the swipe option and get those additional words that you may not frequently use but that you want to every now and then. If you tap and hold on the numbers button, you can see here that there's a Swift key logo just above that, which is going to take you into the theme settings. So once you go into here, you can change the keyboard on the fly. So I want to have, for instance, classic grey. If I then go back into Google now, you'll see that the keyboard again has completely changed. So that's one of the things that I love about SwiftKit, it gives you the option to completely change up the look and feel of your keyboard. And with this new application update, you're going to be getting some great new themes included. Some of them you're going to have to pay for, but some of them are completely free of charge, which is definitely a great move for SwiftKit. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. I will leave a link down in the description for my top 5 Android keyboard video and also a link as to where you can pick up SwiftKey from the Play Store. And I will catch you guys in the next video.